Hello my lovelies, welcome back. I hope you've had a lovely week, whatever you've got up to. In today's video, I want to share my new fabrics with you and some of my sewing plans for the next few weeks. In last week's video, I shared some of my resolutions and I think I've been quite clever with these fabrics because I, um, actually ordered things that I had a really good idea what I wanted to make. Really, are you drinking tea? Unless you're drinking it out of a mini cauldron. So, my focus very much with my sewing, as I shared with you last week, is to really work on the, the vintage reproduction using vintage patterns or creating my own vintage reproduction patterns sometimes using vintage patterns. So along with that, I'm really looking at fabrics that are, if they're not actually vintage, and it's quite hard to buy vintage fabric from the 1940s, and when you do find it, it's either there's not enough of it or it's really quite expensive. So I've been really looking around and doing quite a lot of research about 1940s style fabrics or 30s fabrics and what I'm aiming to do is use fabrics modern fabrics or you know newly made fabrics let's say that are a really good dupe for those vintage fabrics that I love so much and it's quite hard but the fabrics that I've got today are I'm, I'm really pleased with so the first one is this um, crepe de chine, it's a viscose and it's um, black with these green sort of floral bouquets all over. It's a lovely heavy sort of drapey um, fabric so I think actually you know looks really quite vintagey. I got this from Rainbow Fabrics in Kilburn. They're really good. They've got some lovely fabric and they're very reasonably priced. I think I got three meters of this and I think it was about five pounds. I will of course link everything that I can below, but it's, it's lovely and it does that lovely bit of ASMR rustling. Um, so I've also tried as well to really use that inspiration board that I shared with you way back when. I might even try to add cards to this video. I haven't managed to do that yet. So, you know, that's um, a new skill that I shall develop today. Um, so I've tried to really use a cohesive color palette as well. Um, now this fabric, I don't actually, I feel fabulous with this fabric. I am going to be creating my own pattern copied from this dress here, which I'll insert a picture of. And um, I'm really looking forward to doing that. It's been on my Pinterest board for a really long time. And over the next few weeks, I'll be documenting that process either here or on my journal. Uh, so, you know, if you want more sewing from me, it's always worth having a little look at what I'm doing over there. The next two fabrics are actually both for the same thing. One is for a wearable toile and the other is for the actual final garment. And it's an update of the dress that you can see on Mildred here. This is my Lana tea dress. And I've worn it and I'm sure I've spoken about it before. It's one of my favourite, favourite things that I've made. I made the pattern about five or six years ago and I've done so many versions as bridesmaids dresses and then versions for myself. So it's inspired by Lana Turner from a dress that I vaguely remember her wearing in the Ziegfeld Girls. Um, but I think I've kind of muddled it up with lots of pictures that I've seen of 40s dresses. But anyway, um, it's got this sort of, um, it's got the little puff sleeves and gathers at the shoulder and this underbust gathering and then it falls into quite a narrow A-line. And actually what I was thinking was that if I put a um, seam around the waist here and then I make the skirt a little bit, have a bit more volume, it would be more flattering. So I'm gonna update that pattern and then I'm going to do the toile in this sort of salmon color, which is a very vintage color. The fabric is from Minerva and it's a Florenza crepe. 
it's quite lightweight it's a little bit um it it would definitely need um a petticoat or something under it um and it, it's not terribly heavy but it's got a lovely drape and i i don't actually know if it really suits me but um i just thought that it was a really good vintage color and again very reasonably priced i think this is 4.99 a meter and they do so many lovely colors actually um including a sort of schiaparelli pink which i'm hmm, thinking about uh so that will be the wearable toile and then i treated myself i had some christmas money and i treated myself to this fabric from fabric godmother this is actually a vintage pattern that's been reproduced They're, they've got a few on their website it's it's a little bit expensive though for you know so it's a, a treat fabric which is why i wanted to do the the twirl first um it's beautifully heavy it's a, a viscose twill it really does look very very vintagey and um i only i got two meters and this dress actually takes two meters so whatever amendments i do to it it still has to fit within the two meters but i just thought this was really beautiful so that's my second and third technically but you know what i mean my next make is actually for minerva i'm one of their makers which is really a lovely thing and they kindly um sent me this fabric which is um really stunning it's this like bronzy satin it's a stretch satin so i'm sort of doing a bit of an experiment and it's got these bouquets of really beautiful roses and flowers um i just think it looks so vintagey and actually on the other side you've got it in black with the the bronzy flowers uh, it's it's just incredible i actually got this before christmas and was going to make my christmas dress but what with one thing and another i ended up spending the day in my christmas pajamas so i hadn't got round to making this but i'm this is next on my make list and i am making this with it so it's the butterick b5880 it's um from 1951 and it's here's the little line drawings so it's a dolman sleeve it's got this interesting double dark thing going on here with these little sort of notches on the the neckline and then it's a, a sort of a pencil skirt but with this swag and drape feature and i thought in in this fabric would look incredibly stunning um I'm one of these people that, you know, we're in a lockdown again, an official proper hardcore lockdown. And I think a lot of people have found that they've they've sort of wanted to wear more lounge wear or pajamas or tracksuits or comfortable things. Now, confession time, I don't even own a pair of leggings. I have one tracksuit which is um it's got ruffles on it. I just don't really do that sort of casual casual look um i would wear this although i did intend to have it for christmas i would just wear this in my studio sewing um because the whole point for me of clothing is to make me really happy and that is basically what i you know like i just if there isn't an occasion to wear it make the you know every day is the occasion and i i just love the whole process of getting dressed up and even if it's to sort of sit and knit and watch films um i will still be found most of the time wearing something inappropriate so i'm really looking forward to making that one my final make another dress is um this one, the Butterick B5281. I did a video on this. It was my last one just before uh, the Christmas break. And I um, I love this. So I'm gonna be making the long sleeved version. And I bought this fabric also from um, Rainbow Fabrics. And it's a, a sort of a, um, a viscose chalet, I think. Um, although it's a little bit heavier than 
um, chalets that I'm, I've had before. I get very reasonable, I think it was about five pounds a meter, I got three meters, I think. So, um, and I thought it looked very, very um, vintage-y with these little, like a black background with these little dusky pink flowers with a little flecks of green. Also really goes with my colors that um, I'm trying, trying to stick to. So I thought that was going to be really, really beautiful. And I am, I am gonna film a sew along with this or a, you know, sew with me or whatever. I'm not entirely sure what you call them, but I'm gonna be sewing this and filming it and showing you the, um, the finished dress in the not too distant future. At some point fairly soon, you are going to be seeing quite a few dresses. I have already made a dress that I, I literally just need to finish a tiny bit off, which I'll do today. And then I'm going to start that Minerva make today as well. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope that you've got some fabulous plans for your sewing for the new year. We certainly have plenty of time now, what with lockdown, so I'm just gonna crack on and, and do what I love to do, which is sitting at a sewing machine. Thank you so much for spending the time with me today. I hope you've enjoyed some of these fabrics. Everything will be linked below. If you are new here, thank you for spending the time and um, listening to me gibber on about fabrics. It's my favourite subject and I, I spend a lot of time gibbering about fabrics, to be honest. But if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more, do like and subscribe, tell your friends, let people know. It's really lovely to have you along for, for my sewing adventures. And I look forward to seeing you next week for some more vintage inspired sewing. Take care, my lovelies. See you soon. Bye.